Um, I mean, uh, Richard is being very faithful um, to his party's position, and uh, I commend him for that. Uh, but having a committee is not a policy. Having a committee is not a plan uh, for action. But can I ask, Mitch, do, do you really reckon that, that uh, Tony Abbott thinks that climate change is occurring? Yeah, Tony has been very clear. He, he thinks that man does make a contribution to global warming. Uh, he's been very clear about that. That's my view as well. Uh, that's why we have this practical plan of action uh, to reduce emissions. Well, uh, what we're waiting to see is what the Labor Party's practical plan of action is. Well, I guess my response to that is I, I reckon Mitch Firefield's the only person in Australia who thinks that Tony Abbott's being clear on the question of whether or not climate change is happening. All right, one thing that we can be clear on, though, is that Marius Klopp has also said that all energy options be explored, and let's put all of those in, in the basket, and one of those would be nuclear energy, but it appears that everyone wants to listen to scientists, but no one wants to listen to nuclear scientists, Mitch Fifield. Isn't this a debate that we should be having? Well, I think this is a debate which shouldn't be driven by ideology uh, f for the reason that there's no doubt that uh, nuclear energy is the only uh, zero emissions form of uh, energy for, to provide baseload power. Uh, we know that. Um, Labor have, uh, have been ideological, uh, completely ideological in the, this, their approach to this. Um, Practically, we're not going to see uh, nuclear power plants in Australia for, for 10 or 20 years uh, because there are two things that need to happen. Uh, those plants would need to be economic, uh, the economics would need to stack up, and you would also need a broad community agreement. Uh, so it's a way off, but I, I don't think that we should be driven by ideology when we're talking about nuclear power. Well, I don't think it's necessarily about being driven by ideologies. It is just by being driven about the, the, the sense of the argument. And, Shouldn't uh, we just have the debate, though? We're not even allowed to well, have the debate. Well, the, I think the debate's been had. I, I just think that the, the point is... Uh, certain, let me make this clear. Nuclear energy is not on the agenda of this government. That, that's clear. Um, that comes after a long debate, I think, which has gone on in this country over decades. And, and the outcome of that debate is that it's hard to see how it stacks up against all the renewable, rich sources of energy that we have... Um, in this country, and when we've got those, uh, you know, geothermal, solar, wind, um, we're, we're, we're rich in all of those sources. Um, it doesn't make sense to walk down the nuclear path. But the other point I'd just make, in terms, you know, I suppose, a, well, not a, not an insignificant point in terms of what Mitch has said, uh, nuclear energy is not um, uh, carbon neutral. I mean, there, there there are emissions involved in digging this up out of the ground, um, and so it, it does make its contribution in that way. It's as minimal as you can get. Well, no, it's not. It, that isn't right. Solar, I mean, panels, been, have, so, solar so, panels are also. Yeah. You've also got to make solar panels. Sure, but but solar panels, solar energy, um, wind, uh, tidal, geothermal, all much cleaner and much more CO two friendly. Just briefly, but you can't we, provide baseload power with those. Well, substantial uh, but, baseload power. Uh, yeah, well, you, you know, let's see how the the science develops in relation to all of that. Can I get a brief word from you both before we go, Mitch Fifield? First, Rob Oakeshott's push to become speaker. What what do you make of that and the complications it, it throws up? Look, Rob's a, Rob's a good guy. Uh, if he does put his name forward, uh, we'll consider uh, that along with anyone else who, who puts their name forward. Um, the, the complication is this, this issue of, of pairing. Um, Section 40 of the Constitution uh, makes it clear that questions in the House uh, should be determined by a majority.